So Fannie Mae recently announced that the home buyer sentiment is up for the second month in a row after an 11 year low. It's up 3.7 points to 61. And I would suspect that throughout the course of this year, it's going to rise ever so slightly while also still staying low across the board in relation to where it's been in the past. Now, I don't think that that's a bad thing because generally speaking, you typically don't wanna do the same thing that everyone else is doing. You wanna do the opposite. And if most people are selling, you wanna buy. And when people are buying, you wanna sell, right? So I think that ultimately, this is a good thing for buyers in this market. And we'll get into that. We'll give all the reasons why. And it doesn't mean that it's a bad thing for sellers either though. So don't confuse entirely what I'm saying there. Because when you look at, for a lot of sellers, many of them have so much equity, especially if they've purchased many moons ago or if they purchased before the market really spiked up. It may not be the case if you just bought four months ago, right? Um, you're probably not the ideal seller right now, but keep that in mind. So again, I think that these numbers will stay low because ultimately for the sentiment to rise, one of two things needs to happen. Either the rates need to come down or the prices need to come down. And the good news is that the rates have likely peaked last year. They went upwards of seven and a half and now we're really seeing them come down to about five and a half. And that of course means that the home buyer sentiment will continue to rise. So that's a good thing. So again, I think that these numbers will stay low because in order for the sentiment to rise, one of two things really needs to happen. Either the rates come down or the prices come down. And the good news is that the rates are coming down and they're coming down to an expected five and a half percent for this year. But when we look at where rates were last year, they're about double from where they were last year. And we're likely not gonna see rates come back down to, to the threes. And of course, everyone's hoping that they're coming to the fours, but the new normal is really gonna be about five and a half percent. So again, as the rates come down, the sentiment will rise and as far as prices, we really cannot expect prices to come down for a few reasons. And that's because right now, we are simply in a low supply environment. That right there just equates to higher demand when people are out shopping for real estate. Now, with Massachusetts, Greater Boston, and Southern New Hampshire, we have notoriously been in a high demand market we're usually insulated from external things happening to the economy and how that trickles down to the housing market. And we've seen that over the last several years as well, and we're seeing it right now where some markets are getting hit a little bit harder than us and dating all the way back to 2008, we were insulated then. So it's a fair assumption that the prices are truly not going to go much further than where they're at now. And in truth be told, they're not dropping right now. They're just more balancing out. The market itself is balancing and the prices aren't really coming down. So another factor here is actually the US dollar valuation. Over the last several years, 40% was printed. And what that results in is everything's expensive. Consumer goods, food, all the way down to housing. And unfortunately, our wages in this country have not been able to keep up with the rate that the Fed has been printing money. And now another factor here is actually the mortgage rate lockdown effect. So during COVID, the Fed lowered the rates to as low as two to 3%. And what that results in now is that there are a lot of people that purchased homes with very low rates and we're seeing and we're talking to a lot of these these homeowners that have a moderate or maybe even a high desire to live in a different home but they're not motivated to take action 
because of where their rates are. It's a hard pill for people to swallow to know that they're likely going to double their rate. All the while, the prices haven't come down, especially in our market here. So that creates a lack of motivation, which in turn is obviously causing the supply to stay low and that creates the prices or that causes the prices to stay high. So that explains a lot of what we're seeing right now in our market. So now lastly, I think the thing to really watch is when the rates do come down to 5.5. That's gonna be really the gold standard and the new norm because when we look at when rates were in the high twos, the threes, and the fours, there was a lot of competition. We saw a lot of people selling because they're taking advantage of the rates. A lot of buyers were put in very competitive situations. There were a lot of multiple offers, waiving contingencies, and we still saw high demand, high competition, and great offers for sellers when the rates were at five and a half. And then right when the rates really got above that into the sixes to the sevens and anything higher than that, it did get different, right? It was a different landscape. And a lot of that was the uncertainty. Once rates got that high, I think people were just much more gun shy. They were hoping that the rates were gonna come down, thinking it's gonna do one of these things, but really, we saw it ride out, right? And that's understandable just based on where the rates were in the past. So I think we should really watch for when the rates come down to five and a half. It's going to get competitive again, especially in our market. So my biggest advice after all of this is actually for buyers. And, and if you're thinking about buying in this market in this year or even next year, it's more wise to take advantage of the fact that there's less urgency right now because again, the rates are on their way down to five and a half and we're just seeing not necessarily stagnation or homes not moving. We're just not seeing as competitive offers. So what that means is that buyers are actually getting the best deals right now because you're getting homes at a decent price and you're getting a rate that's fair. It's not seven and a half, it's not eight. You're probably gonna get somewhere in the sixes if you're not getting the fives right now. So when it really hits the masses and everyone's seeing five and a half, it's gonna get super competitive. So my best advice, like I said, if you're interested and you really wanna buy a house right now, I would strongly urge you to take advantage of what's out there in the marketplace now. Even though there's low inventory, you might still find a home that really calls to you. And that's where we wanna help you out. Happy to coach you through it. Happy to help you find something. So go ahead and email us at realestate at coastallife.com. We'll absolutely get you set up in our system and take care of you from start to finish. All right, hope this was helpful. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, see more helpful videos like this, and we'll see you on the next one.